As Emily Moody, thanks for joining us. Springfield City Council has already voted to lower the penalty for possession of marijuana. But not so fast. The city adopted the ordinance that came from an initiative petition and now it's considering changes to the ordinance. KSBR's Melody Pettit was at tonight's council meeting and, and the gathering outside before the meeting. She joins us live from Historic City Hall. Melody, bring us up to date. Joe, like you said, the city council passed the ordinance but said, hey, we want to make some changes to it before they go any further. That's why they met tonight to hear public comment on some of those changes. Some of them are for a complete rehaul of it, to take it out, to be done with it. Others are just minor tweaks, but it's something residents here have a problem with, and some of them demonstrated before the meeting. A few of the demonstrators are put on masks, but couldn't explain why. Or... Oh, I'll let them use their imaginations. I'm just trying to get a, a good answer on why people are wearing masks today. While some had signs, others expressed their opinions with chalk, all in support of Springfield's marijuana ordinance. A large portion of those who showed up at the council meeting did so to hear or speak about the issue, including the woman who organized the original petition. She says the city didn't communicate to her there was a problem with the petition's legality. We did not have sufficient notification of what Mr. Wickmer thought was a problem and why he thought it was a problem in a timely manner. City officials admit there was a problem. There was a mix-up, and the word did not get back as timely as it should have. I will give you that. There were 10 speakers in a row that spoke in favor of not repealing or changing anything to the marijuana ordinance. I'm here to encourage you people to believe that you were smart the first time, that you made the right decision, that you made a decision that diverts the attention of public money and services. I really think that our decriminalization of marijuana could really free up a lot of police resources to de deal with more serious crimes in this community. What I hope is that you'll keep the heart of this intact, namely the first two sections. These sections prohibit arrests from being made for those caught with small amounts of marijuana. There were a total of 18 speakers that spoke on the marijuana issue, and only one, the very last speaker, spoke in favor of repealing the ordinance. The rest, they wanted to keep it as is. Now, no decision was made tonight. Tonight was only a public hearing. The council plans to vote on it on September 24th. Joe? All right, thanks, Melody, for that live report downtown.